So I'm gonna dig into my uh, crispy groat with the almonds. You know what? This looks it's like cheap. Yeah, it looks more like cheese. Is it goat's cheese? I think it was a mistake for the menu. I think they missed out. Because I was thinking, how can it go? I think this is goat's cheese. Yeah. It looks like cheese, like a filo pastry. <laughs> That's really good. I can taste the almonds. There's a lot of almonds. That's good. I'll try a bit of this. I think we know what this is going to taste like. It's very like salami ish. You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, just as I imagine. Just like that salt. A bit lighter on the salt though. A bit of bitterness to it. But it's good. <laughs> this particular one is quite different. It has a slight bitterness to it at the end. It's got a different taste. It's more creamier than these. These are more salty. It's a bit more rough. Oh, no, and, yeah, you won't realise the taste till the end. It's very beefy. Yeah, it's very beefy. That's yeah. So, guys, I got the beef tenderloin, medium cooked, with the potato gratin, and this sauce here, which was in here, is the crying tiger sauce. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna dig in. Let's see. Right. Hopefully it's good as a veal that I had last time here. That's good. However, the veal is better. You're right. I would have liked it a bit more rare though. The sauce is quite spicy from the last time I remember. I'm gonna try the kraken now. That sounds really good. <coughs> the kraken is still good. It's that same as I had last time. So it's all good. <laughs> See you on the dessert. Lava cake. I don't know the name of it. Ooh, look at that chocolate oozing out. I'm gonna have to try with the ice cream because apparently it's really hot. The cream's quite good. It's good. It's not too chocolatey. I think it has caramel in it as well. It smells really chocolatey, but it's not. Yeah, it's probably probably the caramel, but that's good. Mm. The ice cream's even better. Mm. All right. So my uh, brother-in-law chose this one. It's called the lemon pie. It looks very pretty. The inside actually looks like this because he's tried it. Let's see how it is. Mm. This is more my dessert because I like my citrus flavors. It's not too citrusy, but it's light. It's really creamy with that on top. The cream on top. In fact, the lemon sauce is quite thick. So, yeah. yeah. So we're done eating at Le Grand and Bon, and it's just here. All in all, it was good. However, I'm still un unsatisfied with the uh, steak we had because the veal last time was really, it was really, really good. But, um, but yeah, overall, I would give it now a seven out of ten. Hi everybody, so we're having a little breakfast slash brunch now. I got the caramel, uh, not caramel, sorry, popcorn macchiato. And this is exactly like popcorn. Really I got the eggs benedict. They put the bread underneath. My brother-in-law's having it now, and he thinks it's really nice. And this is the hollandaise sauce. So let's try one now. Oh, that's a really good egg. Oh, the bread is right, and it's a really soft bread as well, almost like a brioche texture. Good, 
very creamy, not what I'm used to, but it's nice. Mm, that's really good. There's a salmon in there on that as well. This is a goat's cheese, I think. I'm not sure. One of them is comp. Another one, I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> but I'll try this one. I can even get some. This one's a bit more creamier. This must be the comp ones. That one's much better. It's really good. Oh, and the spring rolls. This is um the shrimp prince spring rolls. It's really cute. That one's the best. So we are at the Grand Mosque in Paris. It's beautiful. It's really nice. So I'm having the uh, lamb chops and this is going to make it sausages. I've had the lamb chop bite. It's good. The very minimum from the spices is just like a Turkish um, grill. It tastes like that. I'm going to try the mega sausages now. Mm. Very salty and very red inside. <laughs> I'll say the ones in the UK that we have in the butchers taste a bit more better. This one tastes more salt rather than spice. Um, we also ordered some couscous, some coffee, and that's the uh, that comes with it as well. The little curry. French onion soup that they have there. Okay, let's see. Let me try some now. So this is like one of the only halal um, places that they do French onion soup because they use a beef stock for it. Let's see. I'm just going to try the soup first. I've never tasted a soup that tastes like this before. I don't know how to explain it. It's not too salty. It's very warming. That is good. Yeah. Chicken escalonia. And they've given it to me with a mushroom sauce. Let's try a bit of this chicken. And Hancock fried potato. 
They have done the presentation. Absolutely beautiful. That looks so good. I'm so happy that we came here. Let's try this. This is a caramel cheesecake. Let's try this. That looks like the raspberry or something. The sauce at the bottom. Let's try this. This is quite fresh. It seems like they've handmade this at the bottom. Mm. That's a really good combo. I wouldn't have ever thought to put uh, the raspberry sauce on the bottom with a cheesecake. Mm. I have to say the food was amazing at Le Petit Gourmet. Um, it's probably one of the best restaurants now. Sorry Le Grand in Font, but this beats you. So um, we'll definitely be coming back here if we ever come back to Paris. So yeah. The bread is really hot and the inside is actually quite warm. It's really good. It's gone. Jonathan, it's really tight. You have to do it on the actual floor. To break it open. And this is where they have these coloured houses. It reminds me of when we were younger and we used to watch Balamori. It's exactly like that. It's really nice with the sun. It's absolutely beautiful. But these people are like frustrated and annoyed because everyone keeps taking pictures in front of their houses. So we are now in Jardin du Luxembourg. I love how straight the trees are. So we are now in Jardin du Luxembourg and look how straight the trees are in a row. It's so beautiful. Literally so beautiful. 